Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my week one preview and analysis. This video is for the last game of the week, the San Diego Chargers and the Houston Texans playing the late game on Monday Night Football. This game will be on the West Coast out in San Diego. And the home team Chargers come into this game with a coaching change. Obviously, they get Mike McCoy uh, f formally um, of the Broncos. He's out there now as the head coach in San Diego. Tom Telesco coming from the Indianapolis organization, now their GM. And I think you'll see this team get better because I really like Mike McCoy. If you look at his background, he has background with uh, all different kinds of, of, of offenses, all different kinds of quarterbacks, and he's really good at molding a scheme uh, to his talent. I think right now, though, as they stand, uh, their offensive line will be better than last year because they improved it through the draft. Okay, You need to get some consistency out of Ryan Matthews. I think if, it's pretty simple. If Ryan Matthews plays, I think he'll produce, but you know the injury bug has hit him quite a bit in his career. We'll see how healthy he can play. I think if you give Rivers time, if this line improves a lot, Okay, if you give Rivers time, I think he could still be a good quarterback in this league. I know there's a lot of people that doubt, have doubted him, especially coming off of his performance last year. I think it does hurt him that Denario Alexander is out for the year because those two seem to develop a lot of chemistry during the last half of last year. Uh, I don't know if the weapons are there for him yet because he has, you know, he has uh, Malcolm Floyd, uh, Eddie Royal. He certainly has, um, obviously. Uh, Antonio Gates still at the tight end spot. So I don't know if the weapons are there for this year for the Chargers to make a run. Uh, their defense, to me, uh, had a lot of uh, aging parts on it. They've gone through a little bit of state of flux on that side of the ball as well. Um, I think the Chargers are going to be one of those teams uh, that can maybe surprise some teams. I don't think it'll be the Texans, though, uh, especially the first game of the year here, coming out of the box with a new coach, with new schemes all over the field. Because I look at the Texans, on the other hand, as being a team that's really primed to make a run. Because as I look at the AFC, no team jumps out at me. I don't look at any team, even Denver, coming off their, their win uh, last night. I don't really look at any team that says they're definitely going to win. Uh, you can pencil this team into an AFC championship game. I think it's wide open, and I think that one of the more consistent teams in this conference during the past three or four years has been the Texans. Yes, I know they've had a penchant for losing big games, most notably, obviously, last year to the Patriots. But you look at a team that's pretty much all intact. Uh, they did lose uh, Glover Quinn, but they get Ed Reed. They draft DJ Swearinger on the defensive side of the ball. They now have Brian Cushing back. If you look at last year, J.J. Watt was tremendous all year for that defense. Uh, if you look when they lost Cushing uh, is when things really started to come unraveled there for the Texans. Cushing back, big extension. Connor Barwin's gone, but this is a team that's been able to sort of um, you know, shoulder some blows here to the defensive side of the ball. They lost Mario Williams, didn't seem to affect them that much last year, that kind of thing. And I really like the Texans in this particular game uh, to really wreak havoc uh, with J.J. Watt starting up front on that offensive line of the Chargers. And, of course, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, the, the Texans are led by running back Arian Foster. A lot is made every year of Arian Foster with his ailments. You remember a couple of years ago with him uh, tweeting out uh, an x-ray of his knee. This year, the stuff with his back. Uh, you know, All indications are that he's going to be able to come, fi come back fine from this back. I just don't think the guy likes training camp. If you ask me, uh, and uh, you know, I'm sure the Texans are fine with that as long as he produces in the regular season, like he has been here uh, for the last, you know, three or four years. I like Foster in this game against that defense. Matt Schaub now he has Owen Daniels, he has Andre Johnson. He gets that second option in DeAndre Hopkins, the rookie from Clemson, that I think is going to be huge for them. If you follow this channel, you know, in the draft, I said. You know, it's, if there's one team that needs to fill a need, um, it's definitely uh, Houston getting a receiver opposite Andre Johnson. Because while Johnson had a very good season last year, uh, he is on the other side of 30 now, and he can use a compliment uh, to go along with Owen Daniels in the middle of the field. So I actually think with how good this offensive line is, with how good Foster is, and, and then weapons on the outside and Daniels, it's going to make Schaub a lot better. I think you can win with Matt Schaub. Look, the way I look at it is if you can win with Joe Flacco, you can certainly win with Matt Schaub. I think the defense is up to par and their offense is up to par to make a serious run this year uh, in the AFC, and I think it starts uh, on Monday night at San Diego. They're a road favorite uh, first game of the year. But I still like Houston, minus 3.5 on the road in San Diego. I think people are expecting – uh, sort of a letdown for the Texans. I haven't heard much from them, but I, I'm sort of high on them this year, so we'll see how it goes. But 
Houston minus three and a half against a rebuilding and restructuring San Diego squad. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You know, I talk sports on here, football, NFL football, more in particular, all week, every week. I preview every game. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening and have a great night.